Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Karen Phillips, the Development Manager for the Maslow Project. Karen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. So let's talk about, you know, we recently did a story about uh, youth homelessness and what a huge problem this is in, in Jackson County, Medford specifically. Uh, tell us about the Maslow Project and your involvement in helping these kids. Maslow Project works with homeless kids from age 0 to 21 throughout Jackson County mm -hmm. um, and we provide wraparound support services, everything from basic needs like clothing and food, access to school, to case management, to access to enrichment activities and other support services so that even though the kids are having a hard time right now, we give them the skills that they need to go on and be successful in school and be successful as adults. Mm, I know, we know there's a lot of adult shelters. Can kids not go to those or are they not welcome? Uh, I don't know if welcome is the right word, but are, there are there are a few family shelters, okay. um, but when kids over a certain age, they need to go and either go into a men's shelter or the women's shelter. And mm. shelter spaces are really limited. Sure. So, the, and a lot of the kids that we work with actually have, rather than staying in shelters, they'll double up with families, or they'll be camping, or they'll be staying in a weekly rate motel, or the kids will couch surf is one of the things that you see happening a lot. Okay. So it's a really hidden population. It's a hard population to just go out and say, oh, this is a child who's homeless, mm -hmm. um, because they're not what you expect. Mm. The average age of the kids that we work with is 11 years old. Wow. So it's, and kids go mm. to great lengths to not let other kids know that they're different from them. So. Sure. Okay. All right. Now tell us you're doing a candlelight vigil. Is it a week from tonight? Tell a us about A week from this. tonight. Yes. Yeah. Um, next Wednesday at 5.15 p.m. at Maslow Project. Um, and we're at 500 Monroe Street in Medford. We're going to start with a candlelight vigil out on the front steps to shine a light on the problem of youth, homeless here, mm. youth homelessness here in Medford and then inform people about other community partners who are helping. Let people know what they can do to be part of helping address this problem. And also to just stand in support of the families and the kids who are experiencing homelessness right now. Mm, Let them know good. we care. Absolutely, all right, very good. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Karen Phillips from the Maslow Project. So Karen, what kind of assistance do you uh, offer homeless youths? We offer really a wide variety of services. We're in schools uh, throughout Jackson County. We have case managers so kids can come in while they're at school and meet with our staff. We have a drop-in center on Monroe Street where people can come in and get everything from food boxes and clothing and diapers and hygiene supplies meet with case managers, we have a art studio, uh, La Clinica's mobile health van is at our resource center once a week, DHS comes by there. So what we try to do is just really wrap around every resource that kids and families might need to support them mm -hmm. um, while they're working to you know, find themselves in a better place and hopefully for the kids to stay in school. That's our big goal is to make sure kids are able to stay in school. Sure, absolutely. Okay, now Maslow says that homeless youth are, are sicker, hungrier, have a higher rate of learning disabilities than non-homeless youth. Are those problems significantly higher? Uh, they, are. higher? they are. They are. Uh, nationally, homeless kids are hungry about twice as often as sheltered kids. They get sick about four times as often, about mm. twice the rate of learning disabilities. And about 75% of homeless kids don't finish high school. And that's the one thing that's really, if you don't finish high school, it's going to be hard to get on to a better life. Wow, okay. And so, and so that's huge. Yeah, absolutely. And so people can come out a week from tonight, 5.15, pretty much exactly this time. Yeah. And uh, they can be part of this candlelight vigil. They can get tours of the facility and see firsthand some of the work you guys are doing and perhaps be a part of the solution. And I'd encourage anybody who's coming to, if you can bring an item of clothing, some mm -hmm. non-perishable food, uh, anything that you'd like to donate, we'd be more than happy to take your donations. Very good. More info at MaslowProject.com. Karen, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you Appreciate for having it. us. Our, our pleasure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.